Good day folks. Just a really quick video for you today. What you see here are the components to build something that I've kind of had in the back of my mind for a while and that is uh, just a quick little tester for testing diodes. I know you could use a multimeter but a multimeter doesn't always work with the diodes you want to test. For instance uh, like Zeners. Um, blue LEDs and stuff like that. A lot of meters won't tell you the forward voltages or the reverse voltages as the case may be but this this is going to be able to do that. So what I'm, I've got this little boost converter here I'm gonna attach it up to this battery pack here and boost the voltage up to about 30 volts and then this uh, meter here is going to inform us first of all if we don't connect a, a device to it it'll tell us uh, you know the voltage that we're dealing with the maximum voltage and once you connect the device to it, whether it's a Zener around backwards or a regular LED or diode around forwards, it'll tell you what the forward voltage is on it or the reverse voltage, as the case may be. Very, very simple schematic here. So it's just the battery. It's going to go through a momentary switch through the boost module. So the thing is no power being consumed when the switch is not pressed. And then it's going to go out of there. It's going to power the meter. And then the measurement wire of the meter is going to come down here to this point here on, on the, the red jack and a 10k resistor is going to feed that jack here so this should be this should be fine to reduce the current if you put in an LED around backwards it's not going to produce enough uh, current to damage the LED they're pretty sensitive uh, to reverse uh, voltages but that that should be that should protect them we'll test it out anyway what I got to do is I got to I got to cut a square hole in this and then drill a couple of holes, one for the switch and two for the test leads. I'm going to use a nibbler to do that. I'm sure you're all familiar with what a nibbler looks like. They're, they're for nibbling out holes in metal, but uh, they'll work equally well on thinner plastic. And this plastic is thin enough that um, you, you can do it. And the nice thing about plastic is uh, it'll never wear these things out. That, these are pretty sturdy though. I've had that this one here in particular for about 20 years and it's still going strong. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to use to make the hole. And uh, for the, the round holes, I'm just going to drill them out. So the first thing I'm going to do is make those holes and then come back and mount this stuff up and show you what that's going to look like. Now, I initially had some concern about you know, whether or not uh, the switches and leads would be able to clear the battery, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. They should be just fine. You know, there's a, a little bit of space there and there's a lot of space even if I put these right down the lower position, there's lots of space there above the battery. So, and then he's going to stick the holder down with a bit of double-sided tape, oh, that sponge tape. Okay, yeah, well, we got the front uh, all done. Yeah, that could have been better, but it's good enough. I'm just going to snap in this module now, and that basically what's going to look like. Um, before final assembly, just going to put a little bit of hot snot on there. And will this fit on here? Here, no, that better go down here. So I'll put a little bit of uh, tape on that as well. And let that down there, just make sure that everything's going to clear everything. Oh yeah, lots of clearance there. Now we're going to, I'll stick this in. Make sure there's clearance with the sponge tape. The sponge tape raises it up a couple of millimeters. So I'll just plop that in. I want it kind of right there. That's good enough for me. Now just make sure that this uh, gets around it. I can always bend them out a little bit. Just make sure that I don't have to do that. Yeah, you know what? I might just bend them out anyway, just to be on the safe side. So yeah, I'm just going to wire all this up and then we'll come back and uh, see how it works. Ooh, I don't know if that, that switched doesn't seem to switch. Might have to get us another one and put it in there. So if you're going to bend the leads out on the switch, which I am, uh, you want to clamp it with a pliers close to the uh, 
base of the switch so you, you give it kind of a strain relief you're not you're not putting any stress on the internal contacts or anything like that and then just bend the tabs back out a little bit and there that gives us like 3 16 more inch more clearance all right we got it all wired up I did opt to mount that up there because there's a nice synergy with the negative output here to solder right onto the output of the boost converter and it's mounted up there with the same sticky tape this is and now we just got to see if it works and then if it does we'll adjust the voltage uh, we want this at you know to come to a maximum voltage maximum for this meter is 30 volts so we want it up around there if we can get it well it works okay so let's adjust that voltage I don't think I'm going to be able to show you guys this at the same time as doing it. It's one of these things that you can't get there from here. You see that? You see that, right? I think 29 volts would be good enough. That gets me close enough. Now we just snap it into place. There we go. Now, the current draw, I believe, is about 100 milliamps. Because it's, uh, it's going to be a bit more than five times the current draw of the meter. So the meter was around about 16 milliamps or so. So five and a little bit for the circuitry. Your current draw is going to be up at around the 100 milliamp range. So those batteries, you know, just using a more material like that, those batteries should last a good long time. Let's put a couple of leads in here. And we'll get a, a device under test here. Let's try one of these diodes here. Let's try it around forward bias first see what the so 0.7 volts forward let's see what it is backwards eleven point seven so this is a, a like eleven point seven or twelve volt zener I have it marked down here as a twelve let's try this diode here Right forward bias first. 0.7. Could be a silicon diet. Let's try it around backwards. Okay, 5.1 volt zener. Let's try with this diode here here, if it ever comes to me. Try it around forward first. Okay, 0.6 is look, looking more like a regular diode. Try it around backwards. Oh, that's around forwards again. Don't flip the leads and the device because you <laughs> won't get very far. Okay, try it this way. 28.4, 29. So this is, um, yeah. This is a regular diode. All right. Here is an LED. Let's try it this way first. Okay. It's an amber diode, forward voltage of 1.8 volts. Let's see if we destroy it by doing it backwards. 29.0 volts and let's look at it forward again see if that was enough to kill it and it was not still perfectly all right okay that's basically it a nice quick way I mean yeah I think most of the diodes will light up I've got a green diode here And they're not going to light up terribly bright because you've got 30 volts with 10k on it so it's not going to be much more than about three milliamps running through it but that should be enough to light up most diodes okay we got this around backwards put it in the other way and we light it up not terribly bright but it does light. All right. Well, that's it, folks. Handy little tool here. It's going to 
save me some time. I mean, you know, regular diodes, sure, you can get out a meter and check them. With LEDs, they sometimes won't be able to tell you the forward voltage. And with Zeners, you, you have to start breaking out power supplies and resistors and meters and all sorts of other things to test those. So this is a handy little, uh, handy, li handy dandy little tool to add to my other handy dandy little tools like this. That Nice little form factor too. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you got something out of this. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.